Today's drug is oxycodone acetaminophen. Brand names, Percocet and Endoset. The therapeutic category, it's an analgesic combination opioid or an analgesic. Dosage form and strength. An important note to make is the oxycodone strength is listed first and the acetaminophen after. The medication comes as a tablet in a 2.5 slash 325 milligram strength, in a 5 slash 325, 7.5 slash 325, and 10 slash 325 milligram strength. Indications and dosing for adults. Before going over the main indication, there are a couple of main notes to mention. The first is to consider naloxone if there is a possible risk of opioid overdose or accidental ingestion. The next is to use the lowest effective dose as well as the shortest effective duration. The main indication is in moderate to severe pain management. When initiating dosing, it is based on the oxycodone component. The general range is between 2.5 to 10 milligrams of oxycodone by mouth every 6 hours as needed. Do not exceed 1 gram in 4 hours or 4 grams per day of acetaminophen from all sources. It's important to note to taper the dose when discontinuing a long-term therapy. When dosing patients with moderate pain, initiate 5 mg by mouth every 4 to 6 hours. When initiating dosing for patients in severe pain, initiate 10 to 20 mg by mouth every 4 to 6 hours. Indications and dosing in pediatrics. The main indication is for moderate to severe pain management. The dosing is weight-based dosing. In patients greater than 16 kilograms, initiate 0.05 to 0.15 milligrams per kilogram of oxycodone by mouth every 6 hours as needed. There is a maximum of 5 milligrams per dose. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology the first mechanism of action is in regards to the oxycodone component. Oxycodone inhibits the ascending pain pathway by binding to the opiate receptor in the central nervous system. This depresses the CNS and alters the response and perception to pain. The second mechanism of action is regarding acetaminophen. Acetaminophen's role is not fully understood. It is proposed to activate the descending serotonergic inhibitory pathway in the central nervous system. It may also interact with nociceptive systems. Special Populations and Considerations In patients with renal impairment, titrate slowly. In patients with hepatic impairment, caution is advised. In elderly patients, initiate at the lower end of dosing. General cautions for asthma, GI obstruction, impaired consciousness, alcohol use, abuse, and treatment, seizure disorders, and others. Regarding pregnancy and oxycodone, weigh the risk and benefits, especially if there is prolonged use. Use an alternative before and during labor. There is indeed a risk of fetal harm. Regarding lactation and oxycodone, consider alternatives and monitor the infant closely if the dose is greater than 30 mg per day due to infant central nervous system respiratory depression. Side effects Some general side effects are for nausea, euphoria, rash, vomiting, constipation, lightheadedness, sedation, dizziness, and drowsiness. Some serious side effects are severe skin reactions, seizures, respiratory depression and rest, abuse, hepatotoxicity, as well as others. There are multiple black box warnings for oxycodone acetaminophen. The first is for addiction, abuse, and misuse. There is also one for opioid REMS. There is another for respiratory depression, as well as accidental ingestion. Another black box warning is for neonatal opioid withdrawal syndrome. 
There is a concern for CYP3A4 interactions, as well as hepatotoxicity and risks from use with benzodiazepines and other CNS depressants. Drug Interactions An overview for oxycodone's drug interaction profile. Oxycodone is a CYP2D6 substrate as well as a CYP3A4 substrate. It has anticholinergic-like effects. It is a CNS depressant. It delays GI mobility. It has hypotensive effects. It causes a low seizure threshold, as well as many other concerns. Regarding the acetaminophen drug interaction profile, acetaminophen is a CYP2E1 substrate. It is affected by delayed gastric emptying, among others. Oxycodone and acetaminophen is contraindicated with naltrexone and lidocaine and benzocaine topical. The medication should be avoided with alprazolam, amiodarone, atazanavir, atorvastatin, codeine, as well as others. Monitoring parameters. Monitor for the patient's level of pain relief, their respiratory status, bowel function, signs and symptoms of abuse, addiction, and misuse, and blood pressure. Patient counseling information. Oxycodone and acetaminophen is used to treat pain. Patients should not be taking this medication if they have severe asthma or similar breathing problems, stomach or intestine blockage, drug or alcohol addiction, or problems with urination or the thyroid, pancreas, and gallbladder. Misuse can lead to addiction, overdose, and death. The medication should not be used during pregnancy. Do not use with alcohol or with other drugs that can cause drowsiness or slows breathing. If a dose is missed, you should skip the missed dose. Never take two doses at one time.